Hi guys, happy Tuesday, happy last day of March. What a wild ride it has been. We just got back from PE class, which is um, us taking the kids for a march through the neighborhood. And that's what PE class is these days. Okay, we good. All right, so I'm just gonna make my afternoon fizz. I normally don't need one, but today I absolutely do. So I'm using the green apple fizz. I just have a glass of water with crushed ice in it. And that is how I roll. Um, the green apple is literally one of my favorite flavors. Hi, Kristen. The green apple is so delicious. It tastes like, um, it tastes like a green apple Jolly Rancher. And obviously that was everyone's favorite, that and the blue raspberry. Um, but this has 50 milligrams of naturally derived caffeine. It has vitamin B12. It has all kinds of different things in it. So just kind of energy alertness. It's incredible and it tastes so good. Green apple fizz, man. All right, so before we glam, I'm gonna use all the products today come from the 18-piece makeup kit, which is fully customizable. I have four 18-piece makeup kits and I have four nutrition bundles that I am doing today only before midnight because it's the last day of the month for my wholesale cost. So um, if you want one of the kits, just do hashtag kits. If you want one of the bundles, nutrition bundles, just say hashtag 30 day, and then I will message you afterwards. I already have a couple of messages coming in of people who are interested in them. So just let me know. I can only do four of each, but I'm happy to color match you, customize, do all that kind of stuff. That's so good. Okay. So we're going in with makeup primer. That's the first step. I'm going to use foundation today. I'm going to use regular concealer today. Um, let's see, bronzer, blush, eyeshadow, brows, the whole nine yards. Hi, Amber. Say hi when you guys hop on. Um, I can't wait to get my Biohydria tea. That's another thing. If you guys... Um, aren't interested in the 18 piece makeup kit or the regular 30 day healthy living bundle, you can create your own bundles this month. Um, all orders of 400 PV um, are 40% off plus get free shipping. But if you get the 18 piece makeup kit or the 30 day healthy living bundle, you also get a free gift. Hi Breezy. Okay. So I'm going in today and I'm going to use our uh, Perfecting Liquid Foundation that has SPF 15 in it. This is in the shade Soft Blush. Um, it's kind of the perfect shade for me right now being incredibly fair skin, pasty pale. I honestly don't feel like the pictures on the website of the foundation colors are at all an accurate representation because they're almost like, you know, they're like a computer generated color and not a picture of the actual foundation. So if you need to get color matched, just ask me and I'm happy to help you do that. All right, so I always blend my liquid foundation and any cream products in with an Eco Tools sponge. Um, I wash it out with hot water and hand soap every time I use it. So there you go. I'm just going to put one squirt of the soft blush on the back of my hand. And then I sort of place it on my skin where I want to use it. So soft blush is amazing because it's great for fair skin. It doesn't have pink or yellow undertones. It's really quite natural. So you don't have to worry about it looking too yellow or too red on your skin. Right. We're good. All right, so I just take the soft rounded side, hi Lindsay, hi Heather, and I just kind of pounce it over the skin and it's gonna blend that in really effortlessly. And a little bit of moisture in here is absolutely the way to go when you're using cream and liquid products. Hi Heather, hi Sabrina. If you haven't tried the green apple fizz yet, you have to do it. It's so good. 
I'm nervous about like letting the kids have fizz because it's got, you know, caffeine in it and I don't need that kind of energy in my life at this point. Um, but they definitely sneak many sips when I have the green apple one sitting on the counter. All right. Almost done here. This, people ask me all the time if I prefer a brush or a sponge. I honestly, with liquid products, prefer a sponge. Um, I just feel like it blends it out better than a brush. I can sometimes see like the brush strokes on my face and that's really irritating to me. So I always sort of select this. Plus I feel like when I blend in my concealer, it blends out a lot easier. Hi, Monica. Okay, so now we're gonna go in with uh, our liquid concealer. This is the shade Fair, which is the lightest shade that we carry. And I use this to highlight and brighten areas of my face that I kind of want to stand out and come forward. So my under eyes, down the center of my nose, my forehead, my chin, under my nose. Women are hormonally more red around their nose and their mouth. So that is another reason why I do it there. And then here sort of helps perfect that contour and your jawline. I have a zit right there, which is the most random place to ever have acne ever in my life. But you know, why not? What, what else could happen at this point? Is anyone surprised? Because I'm not. Okay, so what I love about the applicator is it's really easy to use. When I used to use a different brand, it came in like a little tube and I used to have to squeeze it on my fingers and apply it that way. I use probably twice as much when I would apply concealer like that than I do here. So back to the Eco Tools sponge, I'm just going to use the short flat side to blend this in. And just like we did the foundation, you're just going to want to sort of pounce it over your skin just like this and blend it out. So a little bit of moisture in that sponge is what's going to make it blend that much easier. So what I do is when I wash it with hot water and hand soap, I get it all sudsy and bubbly. I wash all the makeup out of it. And then um, once I rinse it dry, I just put it in a hand towel and kind of squeeze repeatedly until it comes up, like mostly dry. I would say like 85, 90% dry. But look at how nicely it blends out that way. nose forehead so the areas that are getting brighter are the areas that we want you to notice first when you look at your face and then we're going to take our bronzer and we're going to contour in and what that does is sort of shades your face and helps you shape it so for me I have a very round face and I'm able to sort of contour it so that it looks longer and leaner. All right. All right, so before we go on to bronzer, I'm gonna take our Setting Pretty Translucent Setting Powder. This stuff is completely transparent. It's got a little bit of like a shimmer to it, so your skin is gonna look a little more glowy than if you didn't have it on. And you can put it over any color. It's not gonna change the color underneath it, but it is going to perfect your face by settling in your pores. It's also sort of known as a blurring powder. Um, so if you have larger pores, this is a great buy for you because it's gonna disguise them. I put as little on as possible because I'm cheap and I don't like to go through makeup that fast, um, but also you don't need a ton. What setting powder does is it makes your liquid and cream foundations or products stay perfectly even as your skin heats up throughout the day. That's going to, when your skin gets warmer, it's going to throw off, you know, cream and liquids will shift and move, but not if you set them with a powder. So from this moment forward, I'm not going to use any more creams and liquids on our face. It's all going to be powder products. Hi, Rose. Hi, Stephanie. All right, forehead. And it just sort of puts this great glowy finish on your skin. So if you've never used a setting powder, this is a great one. It smells like cupcake batter. Totally non-toxic, soy-free, dairy-free, gluten-free, cruelty-free, paraben-free, all of those things. And all these products, everything I'm using comes in the 18-piece makeup kit that I have four of at an incredible price today, just for today. 
All right, so now we're gonna go in with Glow On Bronzer. Amazing. This has the best neutral brown pigment, like a true tan. We're gonna start towards the top of our ear and blend down going towards the corner of our mouth. And right there, you can kind of feel, this is where my cheekbone is. We wanna go right underneath that cheekbone and blend up onto that. So you just kind of feel for the hollow in your cheek and that's where you wanna be. Make sure that you don't go down too close to your mouth or it's just gonna kind of look muddy down there. And just looking at my face, you can kind of already just see the hollow stands out a lot more on this side. Okay. So the temples. I try to like do sort of a blend between not doing a super sharp contour and hitting my bronzer in the areas that my skin would normally react to the sun. So it's, I kind of blend a little bit of each of those principles together. I personally don't look really great when I have a super chiseled contour because it looks a little bit too phony on me. Um, you know, like a red carpet situation is one thing, but quarantine situation is totally different. I do go down the sides of my nose, but I don't get like really, really aggressive with it. And then jawline. Chin and jawline are probably my favorite. I think they make the biggest difference. So now that the face is looking flawless, you can kind of go in and tune anything up if you want a little bit of extra highlight someplace, you're good to go. But this is like usually, you know, you are you could be out the door, throw in a little mascara and a little lip color and you're good to go. Hi Liz, hi Suzanne. All right, so we're good with these products. Let's switch over to brows. Um, you get two brow products in the 18 piece kit. Hi, Allison. How are you? Um, you get a brow pencil and you get a brow cream. So um, I personally love the brow cream more than I could ever tell you because what it does is it helps you to place your brows in the exact right spot. So if you have like wiry brows or really long eyebrows and they're hard to tame, this is where this product comes in. It also keeps them in place all day and adds a little bit of extra tint. So I'm gonna use the brow pencil in the shade medium and then the brow cream in the shade light medium. Um, what I do when I do my brows, hi Liz, is I start right down here in the bottom corner and I just do quick little dashes, very light handed. I hold my, bra my pencil all the way in the back and I do just quick little dashes from front to back, ending right at the tail. And then on the top, I start just a little bit further back and I grab the little baby hairs that live just above my brow. It helps you develop a better, like more pronounced arch. And then I fill in the arch to the tail, pretty thick. And then I just sort of fade up a little bit at a time, light handed. And then I'll just take the little spoolie on the end of that brush and brush everybody up. Look how long my brows have gotten from the um, skin elixir that I take in the morning. Hi, Kate. So when you use the spoolie, not only does it help you to sort of position your brows in the right place, but it also blends that product in so that you can actually see if you need more or if you just needed to blend it a little bit better. So I'm gonna go over here and do this brow before I add the brow cream. So I just do start on the bottom, little strokes. Little strokes help you to control 
as opposed to just doing one big one. I'm a huge proponent for a natural looking brow. So I feel like this honestly gives me a much better looking natural brow than the product that I was using before. It's very user friendly. Okay, brushing up. Hi, Susie. Hi, Sonia. All right, brush these puppies upwards and we're good. So now we're gonna go in with the brow cream. And again, that's used to just sort of deepen your brows a little bit. Um, what it also does is position them in the right place and adds a little bit of like a finishing touch to them. Hi, Rachel. Hi, Sonia, how are you? Okay, so we're gonna go in with the light medium shade of brow cream. And what I do is I just sort of brush upwards and towards the side of my face. This is amazing because it makes your brows look so full in a natural way. It doesn't look like somebody just drew all over you. And that's one of my biggest pet peeves. In pictures, drawn on brows can look amazing, but when you get up on them, they sort of look like a Barbie doll. And it's just kind of weird. Hi, Layla. Hi, Nicole. So this really does prevent it. Even if you have very sparse brows, it allows them to look like microbladed because they just look fuller and each brow looks a little bit heftier. I love these two products. Okay. Good. I'm just gonna edit this little piece right here. So what I do when I wanna go in and clean up my brows, I put a little bit of concealer right on the back of my hand, and then I grab a little bit of a concealer brush, just something with like a nice curve to it. I grab a little bit of concealer, and I just go right on the underside of my brow, and that sharpens it right up, and you can do it right on the top of your brow too. It's kind of like a magic eraser. So just on the underside, and it literally takes almost no concealer whatsoever to do, but it just puts a nice little matte finish on there and cleans them up perfectly. So don't be afraid to draw outside the lines. You're good. Hi, Tracy. And then you just take your sponge and blend it in. Okay. Let's go in, we're gonna use, um, this is palette two. You get to choose from two different eyeshadow palettes. This is uh, volume two, so more like pastels and things like that. And then this is palette one, more neutrals. This whole like soft vibe. I'm just kind of feeling spring today, even though it doesn't feel like spring out. Um, so I wanted to go in with this and I've been really looking at um, this amethyst color. I was totally digging this today. Hi, Faith. So I wanted to kind of play around with that. I have no real plan in place, but I'm going to start with the shade Amethyst right here. And I'm just going to pack this into my crease. This is a tapered crease brush. So it's fluffy and soft, but it kind of comes to a tip so that it's easier to control. Hi, Danielle. And I'm just building it in a little bit at a time so that it's easier to blend out. If it seems like your eyeshadow shouldn't take this long to put on, you can you can go quick and dirty, believe me. But I don't know, I don't like the finish when you do that. It's harder to control. This amethyst shade though is gorgeous. Hi Vanessa. How are you? Cheers to the last day of March, everyone. All right, I'm gonna go in with the shade Onyx, which is black, because why not? And I'm just gonna put a little bit of that on the same tapered brush, and we're gonna kind of smoke this out. So I'm just gonna go right in the corner and deepen that amethyst up with it. It's almost going to give it more of like a gray shadow than it is a black color because I went so light. But that's why I love to use like multiple colors. I'm pretty much drunk right now. Vanessa, God bless it. That's what this quarantine is about. 
Honestly, all rules. I, I read the funniest meme the other day that was like, in 20 years, we're going to have an entire population of children who are educated on day drinking. And if that wasn't the most accurate thing I've ever read and laughed at, I don't know what is. Um, I don't really tout myself as a patient person, but homeschooling has brought out every ounce of impatience I have in my body. It's not been pretty. It's not been pretty at all. And I don't really know what to say about that other than all the teachers deserve all of the love in the world. I cannot wait until Chase is back and formally educated by someone who knows what they're doing because it ain't me. And we've learned that basically preschool that Dylan is in has been the biggest participation trophy that we've ever purchased in our life because we're like, what letter is this? And he's like, I don't know. I'm like, oh, good. Great. All right, so I'm going to take on my finger the shade Slate right here. It's sort of like an oyster. And I'm just going to kind of place it on the inside corner of my eye just to kind of brighten it up. I like a little brightness up in here. And again, all these products come in the 18-piece kit. I have four of them available for a special price today only. All right, now we're gonna go in with an eyeliner. I'm gonna use the shade, what shade is this? This is Carbon, it's our black. And because I was using sort of uh, purples and blacks today, I just figured black would be easiest. Plus, who doesn't love a nice black eyeliner? So I'm just gonna quickly line right up against my lash line. I try to keep it as thin as possible and just smudge it right into the lashes. It kind of makes your lashes appear thicker right at the root and I go a little bit thicker right on the outside. I have not had internet since yesterday, just got it back drinking to celebrate. Honestly, the worst thing they can do is take away our internet right now. Like we are sitting ducks. And now my sister and I are like, when should we go grocery shopping? Like we're literally grocery shopping two weeks at a time and getting stuff for my mom, and my neighbors have been really great about, hey, I'm going out, can I get you something? Um, but it's just hard to plan. I'm pretty sure my kids are just gonna eat hot dogs and chicken nuggets for the rest of eternity until all of this is over with. And I'm making bread every day, which is not good. I need to find a great gluten-free flour because we can't continue like this, guys. It's You're gonna be cutting me out of the, my house like in What's Eating Gilbert Grape. Seriously, I thought I was gonna go nuts without it. We we will. It's not just you, don't feel badly. It's like we need to be connected to someone somehow. And right now, like there's just, it's not, it's not good. I mean, it could be worse, trust me. I have made the mistake of saying things couldn't get any worse and then they do. I've been making bread every day, Vanessa. I have actually perfected yeast bread, that's how, Amish it's gotten up in here. All right, we're gonna go in with Speaks Volume Mascara. And um, I always do two coats of mascara. Actually, I found my lash curler today while Chase was doing his homework. And I swore I was gonna use it, but it's in the other room, so I'm not gonna grab it. But I do two coats of mascara. The first coat is great, the second coat is even greater. And I just do the old wiggle and shimmy This dog is really, we took her for a three mile walk today and she's still not full of herself yet. She needs to take a day nap. If anyone has any great secrets on leash training a dog, we trained our first boxer when she was a puppy like normal people do, but with this one, when we got her, it was winter time and we had two young children. So I definitely did not walk her as much as I should have. And now she is so bad on the leash, it's not even funny. So now we're using this time to try to leash train a 70 pound stubborn boxer. And when I tell you it's not going well, it's not. 
Hi, Christina. Hi, Alyssa. We should all stand up and wiggle and shimmy. Um, believe that. I can't not wiggle and shimmy when I stand up at this point. This is just a true adventure. Can you imagine when we tell people in the future what this was like? They're going to be like, there's no way you had to stay in your house for months. Yep, we did. And we had to cancel our Disney trip, obviously. I should actually be in Walt Disney World right now. So we rescheduled it for November. And I'm a little concerned about even November being possible, to be honest with you. Because now they're talking about, oh, this could all happen again in the fall. Like, wonderful. I don't think I'll make it through a second round of this. Uh-oh. Okay. Let's go in with a little bit of blush because I now realize I forgot to. Um, it'll be great. We're actually living history right now. No kidding. All right, so we're going to go with the shade Blossom, one of my favorite blushes. You do not need a lot. Just literally once in is going to give you enough blush to do your whole cheek. Just like that. Everything is really nicely pigmented, so a little goes a long way. Hi, Whitney. Okay, let's go in with lips now. So we're going to use, remember all the products that I'm using come in the 18 piece kit. So I'm going to use peach lip, uh, lip liner. I'm going to use, where's my lipstick? Oh, right in front of me. I'm going to use willow lipstick and then I'm going to go over it with hazel lip gloss this is like the best nude if you don't like a lip that stands out and you just want like a glossy perfect neutral one go with this so i do overline my lips just a little bit i'll show you how i do it because i always get questions afterwards could you do a lip so when i overline i go right on the underside of my lip on the top and the bottom right in the center and then i tailor it up on the sides so that the center looks more exaggerated so again, right on the under part, overline, just like that. Same on the top. Overlining just in the center. And then on the sides, I'm gonna tailor it in. so that your eye visually pulls it back up. Okay. It's sort of like a waist trainer, but for your lips. So you want the sides to look neater and then the inside to look pouty. Okay, we're going to fill in with lipstick in Willow, which is, again, one of my favorite nudes. Just a really great lip. Okay, and then I'm going to take a little bit of this concealer that I still have on the back of my hand. Really not much of it because it dried. But we're going to do it like this. So take that concealer that we used, just put a little dot of it on your finger. And I'm going to put it right on the inside of my lips and just kind of pat it out just in the center where we overline. Okay. And we're going to wait for it to dry before we add our lip gloss. What that does is it makes your lips basically stay in place all day long this way if you let it dry just trust the process in fact what you can also do is take a little setting pretty setting powder hi holly i'm gonna put just a little bit of that right on my finger and go right over the center this is going to make your lipstick stay all day okay now we're going to go in with that shade Hazel in the lip gloss, perfect nude, and go right over the top. Oh, 
Oh, you're sweet. Thanks, Holly. Just like that. And it just, you can see the brightness right here in the center is just from that concealer kind of popping. And then if you want to, you can take that same setting pretty setting powder, grab your sponge, the short side of it, put a little bit of powder right on the inside and just go right underneath your eyes like this and it'll add just a little bit of extra brightness and glow. It'll tail your, tailor your eyeshadow in really nicely, make it bright and pop, just like that. And just the tiniest little bit, you do not need a lot. Less is more for your under eye. But with a little bit of that um, moisture in the sponge, you're gonna make sure that you don't see any of that creasing that you get sometimes with a lot of heavy makeup on your under eye area. And we're good. All right, so one product that I always recommend everybody grab, even if you um, are getting the 18-piece makeup kit, this beauty does not come in it, but it is the Let It Set Refreshing Spray, and I always use it. smells like peppermint it's amazing and it's exactly what you want to use to set all of your powder products so we use the powder to set the liquid in the cream and now we use the spray to set the powder all right guys so everything that I use today except for this little beauty comes in the 18 piece makeup kit um, which I have four of them available for a killer price so if you want the 18 piece makeup kit just shoot me a message and I can walk you through how to do that um, and if you are interested in the 30 day healthy living bundle. I have four of those available at a killer price. So just shoot me a message and let me know that and I can hook you up with that. Um, but either way, 30 day healthy living or the 18 piece makeup kit, they're amazing, but you can also build your own bundle for 40% um, off with free shipping. It ends tonight though. So you guys, I love you. If you have any questions, just let me know. I will go and take a selfie in that mirror and then I'll list all the products that I used. Um, if you have any questions or you want to get color matched, just shoot me a message or comment on this video and I can send you a message. Otherwise, you guys stay safe, stay healthy, and let me know if there's anything I can help you with. Mwah. Bye, Vanessa. Love you too.